Hi, hello. You are welcome to Nation Building. In Nation Building, we are looking at how to build our nation, our place, our responsibilities. And of course, we also do bring a gentle reminder to our various governments on the need to maintain stewardship, on the need for them to take care of the trust that has been given to them. I read Psalm 133, Psalm 133, beginning reading from verse 1. It says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Psalm 133, verse 1. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the bird, and Aaron's bird that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hammon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Even life. The place of unity, the place of togetherness cannot be overemphasized. This morning, we have been talking much on the place of togetherness for our nation. This morning, we want to say the place of togetherness in Christianity, in Christendom, cannot be overemphasized. We need to come together and cry to God. Put aside our differences. Put aside our different denominational leanings and stay focused, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. There must be unity now, like never before, in the body of Christ. A house divided cannot stand. My mother of blessed memory. The comfort there will shine up will always say to us a family of 12 we have 10, eight pastors, ten of five, eight pastors. She would always take a broom and give us the broom and ask us to break the broom. And the broom together we will each try to be able to break the broom. No matter how you try, the broom as a bunch, you cannot just use your hand and say you want to cut it like that. No. But now, individually, take the broom one stick at a time, one at a time. <laughs> Even a child, a child, a toddler, a one year old, give him the broom to play. He'll be there with pieces and scatter the broom for you. And this is what is happening in our nation. The divide and rule that the colonial masters started with is what others are running with. They start one by one, attack this community everywhere quiet. Go to this community quiet. Go to this community quiet. When we say quiet, we are not saying go to the streets. We are not saying riot. We are not saying, but we are saying rise up and pray. Let's rise up and pray. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to, in God through the pulling down of strongholds. When we rise up and we pray, when we rise up and we call, say, no, this is my brother. This is my sister. It cannot happen. It cannot this. What happens? We have joy. We have peace. But today we allow ourselves to be divided. We allow denominations sectionalism to divide us we allow tribality to divide us we allow language ethnicity to divide us as a body the church we are saying no let us stop it let us not continue that way acts let me read first corinthians 1 10. first corinthians 1 10. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing. Let's speak all the same thing. Let there be no division among you, 
but that we should be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Now is the time for the church to rise up in the same mind, in the same judgment. Let's speak as one voice. What happens to one happens to all. Let us not be quiet. In the place of prayer, let's call to God. Let's say, no, this is not right. This is not right. This is not right. And as we call upon God, our God will answer us. Acts 2.46, it says, so continuing daily with one accord. They continued daily with one accord. They continued daily with one accord. They had the same feelings and thoughts. As they had the same feelings and thoughts, let's also have the same feelings and thoughts. For our brethren, let's feel the pain. Let's not allow it to come close to us. I said in the last video clip that a member of one of our association was kidnapped but has been released. The punk, the pain was not easy, but we don't need to wait for it until it happens. The Niger State Governor speaking, he said he has done his best. And that let's not think that the crisis is far for those of us that are in Abuja, Nigeria. Niger to Abuja is less than two hours drive. But in the place of prayer, God can do all things. So we are to act as one, feel as one, our speech should be one. We should all want one thing, which is security, safety, progress, togetherness, everything good. China was a third world nation like us in the time past. But today, China is a force to be reckoned with. Just yesterday, even the films that they have been producing, I saw it on the news. Hollywood on their own are now deleting some of those aspects of what they've been the negative things against God that they have been propagating and promoting, they are now deleting them. Because in China, homosexuality is a no-go area. They say no to it very strongly, and they censor the films. But China now is a number one world market everywhere. In entertainment, in any industry, China is number one. And for Hollywood not to miss out, it's all about money now. They are now deleting some of those films so that they can have a part of the market. And it's China that have the technology as well for all, most of these things. China, we used to laugh at them. So I made in China, we'll go by. Made in China. But today, <laughs> they are number one. If China can make it, we can make it. But we can't make it fragmented and segregated. We can't make it divided. When the place of unity, like I have read, that is where the blessing is. That is what God said. I didn't say it. Psalm 133. Psalm 133. As the dew of Hammon. Dew of Hammon means when I went to Israel, I was very, very, very. If you can't go there and not be impressed. You can't go there and not be impressed. See trees on the hills. Trees on the hills. He said, as the dew. Of Hammon. So God waters, God takes care. Of course, they have irrigation, but on their own too, is a blessed land, a land flowing with milk and honey, because there God takes care of everything. The dew, wake in the morning, see water everywhere. You wonder, how did it be? Is the dew. He said, It is in the place of togetherness, in the place of prayer, and the place of unity. He said, Dear the Lord commanded blessing and even life forevermore. So the church, wake up. <laughs> wake up, wake up, let's wake up. Let's wake up. If we want to continue to celebrate our wealth, we want to celebrate our affluence, we want to celebrate all that we celebrate, we must wake up and pray. Now is the time to wake up. Now is the time to arise and speak as one, not fragmented, not divided. If you were to ask me, I'll say that all our church services should now enter emergency. You enter. All you do is praise and prayer. Praise, prayer, and the word. Leave everything else. Prayer for the nation. Crying for the nation. Crying for the nation. Our only agenda, our only one hope. 
It's the only way out. Let us wake up. Let us wake up. Let us wake up. Let us wake up. The Acts of Apostle, he said, so continued, they continued with one accord. We must wake up, put ourselves together, and continue in one accord. Continue in one accord. Continue in one accord. And pray for our country, Nigeria. So much fragmentation, so much division. We must leave it alone and come together. Are you out there? You have not been praying for your nation. You have sinned. You have erred. Ask God to forgive you. You wake up. And some people say, all they own is my belay prayer. My husband. My Peking. My this. My that. My, 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 my. No. It's time to turn the tide around. Let's refuse to be refugees. Let's refuse to be second class citizens in our country. Let's refuse... To be widows, widowers, orphans for our children and husbands. Let's say no in the place of prayer. That is how we can complement government efforts. Government is trying, but anytime, any day, prayer, an answered prayer, is stronger than AK-47. It's stronger than all the machineries of warfare. When we pray, supporting government with our prayers, then God will arise and be the commander of our army. We arise and take care of if there's anyone selling our country. We wake up and take care of them. He has been doing it in the time past. <laughs> he has been doing it. When one says he's the only one can fit, he did it. Another one, ah, my mandate, he did it. Anything that will make us run up and down, he answered. But then I know there were wailing men and women. There are some people praying, you know, like um, two years ago. I spoke at National Ecumenical Center. I was amazed. There's this ministry, Excellent uh, Women Ministries. And all their own was just prayer for nation. Even on their, on, their, on their papers, their leader, Cordelia Adiku, invited me. No, I didn't say anything prayer for family, for self or this husband. Mm -mm, nation. And they have been praying like that for years. I said, wow. There are people like that sustaining this nation. Let us join them to pray. Let us join them to pray for our nation. Let us talk less and pray more. Wake up. Anything that is happening, don't say it does not consign me. There's a divide and rule going on. We must wake up. Wake up. Because anything that touch one palm, palm or you touch one finger, it will touch all. And we can see it is everywhere now. They are going everywhere. But in the place of prayer, God can turn the tide around. Are you out there you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Are you out there you have not been praying for our nation? Are you out there you are not burdened for it? Are you out there and anything happening in any place? You say, ah, it's uh, Yoruba and government, Hausa and government, uh, Plateau and government, uh, Benue and government. No, it should not be like that. We are all brothers, we are all one. The North, the South, the East and the West, Whatever affects anybody affects us. Let us wake up and cry. Let us wake up and say no. Not to go to the street. It won't help you. Not to say I have weapons. Uh -uh, it won't help you. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. In the place of prayer, God can arise. Let's support government with our prayers. Let's support our sons and our daughters, our soldiers that have gone out there to fight for us. Let's support them with prayers. Let's support them with prayers. Let's not leave them alone. Let, let's not leave them alone to die like fowls, like chickens. No. Let us pray. And so, Father, we come to you again thanking you for how far you have helped us. We have brought this video clip now to say that the church must be united and pray as one. In the place of prayer, unity is very, very important. The church must stop speaking different languages and come together and cry. Now is the time. Now is the time. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Father, we say we are sorry. Anyway, we have gone our own way, doing our own thing, just doing as if nothing is happening. There must be a change. The church must rise and cry. From the time we enter in, we are praising you and we are crying. Crying for our nation. Crying for the nations of the world. That is your heartbeat. That is what you want. Solomon was blessed. 
Solomon was beloved of God. God gave him wisdom and riches above measure. Above any man, he said to him that will ever live on earth. Why? Because he had the burden for his people. He had the burden for his nation. He said, God, wisdom to rule these great people. And God said, because you love my people, because you love my people, he blessed him. Let's love people. Let's love our neighbors. Let's love our brothers and sisters in the north, in the south, in the east, and the west. Let's feel their pain and cry when we do that. God will also make sure that the prayers come to us and we are safe and secure. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins. Have mercy on me. If you've not yet accepted him, you can add this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for streamlining with us. Please visit our YouTube channel under the Banner of Love account. We have a lot of video clips there on prayer, on the word. Very edifying on a lot of issues. Family, all. Entrepreneurship, business, whatsoever. The mind of God. As per the mind of God, we've loaded them there. Visit the YouTube channel under the Banner of Love account. On that Facebook, we have five pages. Please visit us as well. We have enriching posts on nation building, church on the air, search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth, please visit and like our page. Above all, like Jesus. We are here not to make friends for friends, but we are here to make friends for Jesus. Friends for Jesus. Friends for Jesus. Friends for Jesus. Friends for, Jesus. Friends for our nation. And the nations at large. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continents of favor and of mercy never leave us. We will not run and leave our nation. We will not be refugees. We will not be widows. We will not be widowers. God will keep our soldiers safe. God will help them. God will be the commander of our army. Is there any back, backstabber? God will take care of them. God will answer them. God will remove them. God will visit them. God, we give our president, the vice president, those in leadership, governors and all, wisdom, wisdom of words, of thoughts and action, and then courage to do that which is right, grace to do that which is right. God, we give to them and give to us all. Thank you very, very much for liking our pages, praying with us, and picking up the mandate to pray and to be united in the place of prayer. A very good morning to you. God bless you. Thank you. Good day.